The spiders are coming, but there's one sure way to protect yourself. Learn how to draw one. As ever, we need pens and pencils and an eraser. And uh, here I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a 6B. These are these nice Mars Lumagraph pencils that Stadler sent to me to try out. I really like these. Now, spiders. <laughs> I'm going to do a kind of tarantula spider. So it's going to be coming straight at you. And you're going to want a kind of a circle for a head. And then you need a... Well, it's a, not a circle, it's an ellipse and there's a flat circle. And then you need another one joining down at the bottom here. And then it has these kind of jaws. Nom, nom, nom. Bom, bom, bom. He, 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 he. So, <laughs> these kind of jaws sticking out there. And then they have, they're kind of like, uh, these are kind of antennae things, but they're so big and fat on a um, tarantula, they kind of look like an extra pair of legs. Now, all the legs come out. We're going to have kind of the body rough, kind of roughly like that behind it. Um, now all the legs come out from here so if we draw the first one um, coming out from here it's kind of coming out like that and then a little bit of a kind of a curve to it and kind of put that into three and the same again with that and it's kind of coming out in a bit of a curve one two three now the next one it starts by sticking up a little bit and kind of comes straight down and across and you want one two there up and then straight down and then a little bit holding out like that the one behind is coming up even more and then it kind of goes across and then you want it to be a bit more um, kind of curving away like that with a one, two, one, two, and then the back one is pointing backwards, so you've got this kind of back perspective kind of thing. Um, so most of it is actually hidden on the back one, really. And it's kind of hidden behind those legs there. And whoa, that's about it. Um, they have this little ridge here with it's kind of about seven eyes here. I'm sure there's lots of technical terms for all these things, but I don't know them. Um, and now I'm going to draw this. So I've got my little Lumograph permanent pens. What have we got there? Fine. And what's S? What does that do? That, oh, that's really, really fine. So I think I want the fine one. Um, so we've got this. So this is the Lumicolor permanent, which means I'll know it dries really quickly. And I'm going to draw that bit. And there's a, oh, the eyes staring at you. And if you draw this bit first, like that, then this is quite hairy. And you need these kind of lines to follow the shape, like that. And that can go all around behind there. Now, if we next do these antennae bits, and, uh, oh, I'm just having a look back at the drawings I did before. I've practiced this a few times now. Um, then if we do it kind of like that and then where you have these lines so you want to kind of start them off they're kind of really hairy and dark on those bits does this make sense <laughs> just do what I do not what I say um, I think my brain can't it's very hard to describe what you're doing while you're drawing at the same time as you're concentrating on the drawing. And, um, and then we can just make this a little bit kind of slightly wiggly, hairy kind of mm, hairy line. And, uh, and just lots of little bits like that will make it look hairy. Now again, the same thing happens here. And And these, it kind of gives that kind of stripey effect, doesn't it? And it kind of makes it look hairy as well. Um, same happens here. Like that. I think I 
concentrating a lot on this one. Um, again, yeah, and you want these stripy at the, at the top of that bit. And kind of like that, and that makes them look hairy. I'm not sure what kind of. I know it's a tarantula of some description. Oh, I haven't put a lines in there. So what, what have we got? One, two, one, two, right there. Didn't put my guidelines in there. So, and you can be, you can afford to be a little bit scribbly with this actually, and that maybe helps you to make it look more hairy. I know some people really don't like spiders. I, I, I quite like them. I, I really admire spiders actually. And I always tell people, spiders are our friends. Because if we didn't have spiders in the world, we would have to swim through all the flies. Because spiders do a great job in keeping all the flies down. And there would just be millions and billions of flies if there weren't all those spiders. Eating them every day and catching them. In my studio, I've got several spiders which I kind of let exist with me and every now and then a fly comes in and I look up and it's being caught and wrapped up and chewed and eaten by a spider but hey that's life right follow this line around here and you can you can be quite kind of hairy with it as it were and then and then just kind of follow around with the hairy lines and follow the kind of the shape of the ball of the abdomen like that and again I think a few more around there and you can maybe put a bit of shading in like, like that and again a bit of shading I think you can put across like that um, maybe a bit of shading in underneath there and then there's going to be shading in underneath the legs as well where they touch the ground like that and then you can put a, a line behind there just kind of the horizon a bit of stones on the ground a little bit of texture to it and then all being well it's dry because I'm using a permanent pen. You can immediately wrap out all the pencil lines and ta da! Tarantula! I'll just put a few more shading lines in there like that. Give it a bit more body and feel to it like that. There you go. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure some of you didn't at all. <laughs> People who don't like spiders. Okay, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Droid channel on YouTube or visit my own site where you can see it uh, in schools and things at uh, shoe-tube.com. And uh, keep drawing, keep coming back, do video responses and win, subscribe and win. Okay, uh, that's on YouTube. Okay, goodbye, see you next time. <laughs> Take care and don't let the spiders get you.